You've probably noticed Wikipedia articles that are outdated, locked because of edit wars, or clearly biased depending on who wrote them. And if you've ever tried to fix an error yourself, you know it gets reversed within minutes by some anonymous power editor. Well, I spent the last week diving deep into how Elon Musk plans to solve this exact problem with something called Growcopedia, and what I discovered completely changed my perspective. This isn't just another encyclopedia. It's an AI that eliminates human gatekeepers entirely, fact-checks everything in real time against multiple sources, and here's the wild part. It can't be manipulated by anonymous editors with agendas. Welcome to bitbiased.ai where we do the research so you don't have to. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how Growcopedia solves each of these Wikipedia problems, why Musk is betting millions that AI can do a better job than human editors, and whether this could actually become your new go-to source for information. We're going to look at the insane technology behind it, including an AI trained on 200,000 GPUs that can read the entire internet in real time. And most importantly, I'll show you how it handles the exact frustrations you've probably experienced with Wikipedia. First, let me show you the foundation that makes this entire solution possible. The XAI Foundation that changes everything. Here's where things get really interesting. Most people don't realize that XAI, Musk's artificial intelligence company that he founded in early 2023, isn't just another AI startup. They've built something called Grok. And this is crucial to understand because Grok is the brain behind Growcopedia. Now, when I first heard about Grok back in November 2023, I thought it was just another chatbot trying to compete with ChatGPT. But here's what surprised me. Grok can actually access real-time information from the internet and even read posts on X, formerly Twitter. Think about that for a second. While other AIs are stuck with data from 2023 or earlier, Grok is reading breaking news as it happens. If you ask it about something that happened five minutes ago, it can actually give you an answer based on current information. But wait until you hear about the hardware behind this. The current version, Grok 3, was trained on something XAI calls the Colossus Supercomputer. We're talking about 200,000 GPUs working together. To put that in perspective, that's more computing power than most countries have access to. And in benchmarks? It scores roughly on par with GPT-40 and Google's Gemini Ultra. That's not playing catch-up. That's competing at the highest level. What really caught my attention, though, is that Grok is designed to answer even edgy or controversial questions with what they call witty and rebellious responses. This isn't your typical corporate AI that refuses to engage with anything remotely sensitive. And here's the kicker. It's free to use on X with an optional premium tier for heavy users. This accessibility is going to be crucial for what comes next. The announcement that broke the internet. All right, so remember those Wikipedia problems we talked about? The outdated information, the edit wars, the anonymous editors with agendas? Well, on September 30th, 2025, Elon Musk basically said, I'm done with this and dropped a bombshell on X. He didn't just announce a new product, he declared war on Wikipedia's entire model. His exact words were, We are building Growcopedia. Will be a massive improvement over Wikipedia. It is a necessary step towards the XAI goal of understanding the universe. Now when I first read this, I thought it was another one of Musk's ambitious announcements that might take years to materialize. You know, like when he promises self-driving cars next year, every year. But then, just a few days later, he clarified the timeline. He said an early beta version, version 0.1, would be released in two weeks. That's mid-October 2025. As I'm recording this, we're right in that window. Here's what makes this different from typical Musk announcements, though. This directly addresses every single pain point we have with Wikipedia. Outdated articles? Growcopedia updates in real time. Edit wars? There are no human editors to fight. Biased gatekeepers? The AI checks multiple sources automatically. 
anonymous power editors controlling narratives, they literally can't exist in this system. The timing of this announcement isn't random either. It came right after Wikipedia's co-founder Larry Sanger went on record calling Wikipedia the most comprehensive propaganda op in human history. That's not some random internet commenter. That's the guy who helped create Wikipedia, admitting it's become the exact opposite of what it was supposed to be. Musk saw millions of people frustrated with the same problems you've experienced, and he's betting A, I can fix all of them. But here's where the technology gets really fascinating. How Grokopedia will actually work. This is where Musk's solution to your Wikipedia frustrations gets really clever. Remember the last time you found outdated information on Wikipedia? Or when you tried to add something legitimate, but it got deleted by some power editor within minutes? Grokopedia eliminates these problems entirely with a completely different approach. Instead of relying on human editors who can be biased, territorial, or just slow to update, imagine an AI system that's constantly scanning the entire internet. Wikipedia, news sites, research papers, academic journals, everything. And automatically fact-checking every single claim against multiple sources in real time. Here's the process, and it directly solves each Wikipedia pain point. For every statement in an article, Grok will cross-reference multiple sources and mark each fact as true, false, partially true, or missing context. No more wondering if that random anonymous editor actually knows what they're talking about. But it doesn't stop there. The AI will then automatically rewrite the text to remove inaccuracies and add missing information. We're talking about a self-curating encyclopedia that updates itself in real time. No more waiting days or weeks for someone to update breaking news. Think about what this means for your actual experience. Remember when that celebrity death hoax went viral and Wikipedia had the wrong information for hours because of edit wars? With Grokopedia, the AI would theoretically catch the false information immediately by checking multiple sources. Or when major news breaks and you check Wikipedia, but it still has month-old information, Grokopedia would incorporate verified information within minutes, not whenever some volunteer editor gets around to it. But here's what really solves the gatekeeping problem. Musk promises this will be completely open source and free, with no usage limits. No more power editors controlling what stays and what goes. Even developers and researchers will be able to access Grokopedia's data freely. Compare that to Wikipedia where a small group of editors essentially control what millions of people read as truth. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who oversees the AI's edits? And that's a valid concern. But here's the thing. At least with AII, the bias is consistent and can be identified and fixed systematically. With Wikipedia's anonymous editors, you never know whose agenda you're reading. If Grokopedia works as advertised, it would solve every major frustration we have with Wikipedia. But there's a bigger story here about why these problems exist in the first place. The Wikipedia controversy nobody's talking about. Okay, so to understand why Grokopedia exists, we need to talk about what's been happening with Wikipedia lately. And this is where things get a bit controversial, but stick with me because it's important context. Larry Sanger, Wikipedia's co-founder, recently testified that Wikipedia has become biased in its editorial policies. He pointed out something interesting. Many conservative-leaning news sites like Fox News and the New York Post are labeled as unreliable by Wikipedia, while more liberal sites like CNN and NPR are accepted as credible sources. Now, regardless of your political views, you have to admit that's interesting. Sanger went even further. He said Wikipedia had become, and I quote, the most comprehensive propaganda op in human history, run by anonymous editors with their own agendas. When the co-founder of Wikipedia is saying this, that's not just random internet drama, that's a serious allegation about one of the most visited websites on the planet. Musk has been even more direct about it. He famously called Wikipedia, Wikipedia to mock what he sees as its ideological bias. And here's the part that made headlines. 
Last year, he literally offered Wikipedia $1 billion if they would rename themselves Dickipedia for a year. Yes, that's a crude joke, but it shows how strongly he feels about this issue. But wait, it gets more interesting. Tech investor David Sachs, who actually co-hosts the podcast that inspired the Grokopedia concept, has called Wikipedia hopelessly biased and maintained by an army of left-wing activists. Other tech leaders like Chamath Palihapitiya have called Wikipedia a massive psyop, which Musk retweeted approvingly. Now, whether you agree with these criticisms or not, here's what matters. Grokopedia is being positioned as the solution. The idea is that an AI trained to seek truth could bypass human editors' agendas entirely. But this raises a fascinating question. Can an AI truly be objective? Or will it just reflect different biases? This is where the reactions get really interesting. The backlash and support battle. The announcement of Grokopedia has basically split the tech world in two, and the arguments on both sides are fascinating. On one side, you have supporters who are genuinely excited about this. They see it as a chance to finally have a truly neutral source of information. These are mostly people in the tech and libertarian communities who've been frustrated with Wikipedia for years. They believe that properly designed AI could eliminate human bias from the equation entirely. But here's where it gets complicated. Remember Larry Sanger, the Wikipedia co-founder who criticized Wikipedia? Even he's skeptical about Grokopedia. He warned that Grokopedia will reflect the same sort of biases, unless it's managed very carefully. And here's the really interesting part. He pointed out that when he tested Grok with controversial questions, it often gave left-leaning answers. So the AI that's supposed to fix bias might already have its own biases baked in. This highlights something crucial that most people don't understand about AI. These models learn from data, and if that data or the training process has any slant, the output will be slanted too. It's not magic, it's pattern recognition based on what it's been taught. Then there are the practical concerns that nobody's really talking about. Wikipedia's greatest strength is its transparency. You can see every edit, who made it, when they made it, and what sources they used. With Grokopedia, if an AI rewrites something, will we be able to see why? Will there be citations? Can users suggest corrections, or is it entirely AI controlled? And here's a question that keeps me up at night. What happens when Grok makes a mistake? Even the best AIs sometimes hallucinate facts that sound plausible, but are completely made up. If there's no human oversight, who catches these errors? Supporters say the AI's ability to cross-check multiple sources will prevent this, but skeptics warn that trusting an AI too much could be dangerous. The debate really comes down to this fundamental question. Can we trust an AI to curate our collective knowledge? What happens next? So where does this leave us right now? As of mid-October 2025, Grokopedia is still just an announced concept. We have Musk's tweets, some media reports, but no actual product to test. The promised beta should be arriving any day now, and when it does, there's going to be a lot to unpack. The big questions that need answering are, what content will it actually include at launch? How will the interface work? Will it look like Wikipedia or something completely different? And most importantly, how will it handle controversial topics where facts are disputed? Musk has emphasized that Grokopedia will be open and free to use, just like Wikipedia. But here's the crucial detail that nobody knows yet. Editing. Wikipedia's whole model is based on anyone being able to edit articles. Will Grokopedia allow that, or will only XAI's AI control all the content? That governance model will determine whether this becomes a community resource or just Musk's personal encyclopedia. This whole project fits perfectly into Musk's broader strategy. Remember, he bought Twitter and renamed it X in 2022, and earlier this year he merged X into XAI. He's building an entire AI ecosystem. Grok is the conversational AI 
Grokopedia would be the factual knowledge base, and he's even mentioned that XAI's new game studio will release an AI-generated video game next year. He's essentially trying to weave AI into every aspect of how we consume information and entertainment. The real implications. Look, here's the bottom line. Whether Grokopedia succeeds or fails, its mere existence is already changing the conversation about how we handle information online. It's forcing us to ask important questions. Should we trust human editors or AI algorithms? Can either truly be unbiased? And who gets to decide what counts as truth in an encyclopedia? If Grokopedia works as promised, it could revolutionize how we access and verify information. Imagine never having to worry about whether an article is up to date or accurate, because an AI is constantly fact-checking and updating it. But if it fails, it could demonstrate the limits of what AI can do and the continued importance of human judgment in curating knowledge. What I find most fascinating is that we're witnessing a real-time experiment in information democracy. Will people trust an AI-curated encyclopedia over one edited by thousands of volunteers? Only time will tell. So what do you think? Would you trust an AI to write and fact-check your encyclopedia? Are you excited about Grokopedia, or does it concern you? Let me know in the comments below. I genuinely want to hear your thoughts on this. And if you found this deep dive valuable, hit that like button and subscribe because I'll be covering Grokopedia's actual launch when it happens. Trust me, you won't want to miss that review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.